For those who are homeless, finding a safe place to sleep can be a challenge when corridor shelters are either closed or full. Now, a local couple is trying to tackle the problem. CBS 2 News reporter Tasha Wood shares what inspired them and why they're asking for your help. Christmas Day, Mandy and Tom Sullivan were volunteering at St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Cedar Rapids, preparing meals for the homeless. That's when a chance meeting changed everything. There were some homeless people in, at one of the tables and they needed a ride back to the shelter. Without hesitation, Tom and Mandy volunteered to give them a ride to the overflow shelter on 33rd Avenue. We were dropping them off and in the parking lot we saw a woman laying down in the parking lot with uh, a coat and socks but no shoes, no hat, no gloves. On Christmas Day, temperatures did not exceed single digits. Immediately, these three people and ourselves, but they immediately ran to her like she was family, were taking off their own coats. It helped for a while, but the woman wouldn't have a warm place to sleep for several hours. I said, we'll be fine, don't worry about us, we'll take care of each other, it'll be okay. And we just couldn't believe that, that was not okay. So they took the group to a nearby business until the overnight shelter could open. We went into our warm house and just tried to brainstorm what could we do um, just as regular everyday people. Local shelter managers say holidays and Sundays are especially difficult. When it gets 12 below everyone realizes it could take just a matter of a, an hour for someone to really become frostbite or potentially pass away. So Tom and Mandy decided to raise money to staff the overnight shelter all day every Sunday. Because of the community stepping up, they were able to find the staff willing to work the Sundays. We discovered that, what, 120 people, if they all donated $20 each, then we made the money. Yeah, yeah. If everyone does just a little bit, a lot can be done. I just want people to know if they want to get involved, there's more room at the table. The shelter is in need of supplies, money, food, and volunteers. So if you'd like to donate, we have a link to the GoFundMe page on our website, as well as a link to sign up for volunteer work. Covering the corridor, Tasha Wood, CBS 2 News.